Hey everybody, I'm so glad you're here today because we are reading a book about one of my favorite things, pizza. <laughs> Today's book is called Every Night is Pizza Night. This is Peepo right here. She loves to make pizza. She makes it every night. Even her parents kind of get a little bit sick of it. Uh, and Peepo thinks that pizza is the best, which I can't really argue with her. Between pizza and sushi for me, it's kind of a toss up. Love them both. So Peepo is so convinced that she thinks pizza is the best that she cannot believe that any other food would be the best. But then she talks to her friends and people who live in her community and they have recipes that they think are the best too. And so she gets to experience all sorts of really new, fantastic recipes because she talks to people and asks what their best is. And so it's really fun. It's a great way to kind of learn about different recipes and different cultures. Uh, and it's all about just being open-minded, trying new things. I love to try new things, especially new food. It's kind of like my superpower. I'll try any new food. So um, I hope you guys like this book. We are going to draw, of course. I love to draw on here. Today's drawing is really simple. We're drawing a piece of pizza, okay? So be thinking about your favorite toppings. I've got mine on here, but when it comes time to draw, you guys can draw yours on there, okay? And I wanna say a special hello to some very dear friends of mine, to Claire and Lily and Michael in Apex, North Carolina. Um, I saw some drawings that you sent recently of Scaredy Squirrel, and I just wanted to say great job, and I hope you like this book. Maybe you guys can make some pizza as a family tonight, who knows? All right, you guys ready for Every Night is Pizza Night? Let's do it. Every Night is Pizza Night by J. Kenji Lopez Alt. Tonight is pizza night. So was last night. And we're making pizza tomorrow too. Actually, every night is pizza night. Because pizza is the best. This is a scientific fact and I have done the test to prove it. Test number four with a waffle iron, messy, but worth it. Test number 18, the cold morning slice. <laughs> mm. Test number 22, pizza math. The Pythagorean theorem is triangles taste better. Test number 37, pizza in the dark. Hello, pizza, my old friend. Test number 86, pizza upside down. Yum. Test number 91, pizza upside down. Also yum. Mr. Gonzalez knows my shopping list by heart. Everyone in the neighborhood shops at his store. A plain cheese pizza can't be topped, Peepo. But how about some pepperoni this time? I admit, not everyone wants pizza all the time. Exhibit A, my papa. I long for a grapefruit. Mama says, think of what you're missing. There's chicken pot pie. Ugh, chicken not pie. Five bean chili? Don't be silly. Peking duck? Ugh, Peking yuck. French onion soup? French onion poop. Okay, but how do you know pizza is best if you never try anything else? Uh, what if mama's right? My science teacher, Mrs. Buffoni, says a good scientist always wants more data. Data, says Papa. You have the whole neighborhood. All right, I'll do it. I do not need to. I do not want to. But I will try other foods. I'll do it for science. My neighbor, Eugene, thinks the best food is bibimbap. He is wrong. This is our old family recipe, he says. My pizza is not an old family recipe. Papa found it on the back of a bag of flour. The colors in the old stone bowl are so pretty. I can't blink, even though I know I'm supposed to. It smells spicy. It smells stinky. It does not smell like pizza. I do not need it. I do not want it, but I will try it for science. Oh, it is spicy, and I love it. Crunchy carrots, cool cucumbers, and rice. Oof, you are so delicious, and there are so many of you. Bop, you are a taste sensation. 
If being stinky is wrong, I do not want to be right. This is new. This is exciting. This is... Is this... Is this better than pizza? Thank you and excuse me, but I need more data. I stop at the end of the hall where Farah lives. She says the best food is tagine. You make it by cooking a bit of this and a bit of that under a clay hat. When I smell tagine cooking, it reminds me of my old home, she says. When I smell pizza cooking, it reminds me of how much I love pizza. At the markets, you can get just the right spices for chicken, chickpeas, or even camel, she says. Do camels like pizza? Probably, yes. The tagine is ready, so Farah lifts up the lid. Hmm. Chicken is okay, and so are apricots, but together? That's wild. I do not need it. I do not want it, but I will try it. I try another bite, then another, just to be sure. I can't stop. I am a tagine machine. Chicken and apricots, you do belong together. Together forever in my belly. And spices? Ooh, show me the flavors. Is this, is this better than pizza? Thank you, Farah, but I need more data. Dakota lives down the street. She's got a pot on her stove big enough for Mutsy to take a bath in. This is my mama's red beans and rice. It's the best way to make someone feel good. Maybe even better than a hug, she tells me. So when Papa gets sad, I cook up a big old pot for him. Does it always work? I ask. It never hurts, Dakota tells me. The beans look like big, shiny beetles swimming in mud. At least I know rice is nice. I do not need it. I do not want it. But I will try it. Once you've had bibimbap and tagine, nothing can surprise. Oh, holy pepperoni! This is good! Garlicky garlic! Peppery peppers, celery cellars. It's like a great big hug around my belly. This is, is this, is this better than pizza? I still need more data. Ronnie and Donnie run the dumpling truck down the street and they say dumplings are the best. First, Donnie shared his dumplings with just me, Ronnie says. Then we shared them with all our friends, says Donnie. And now we share them with the whole neighborhood. They look good. They look warm and cozy, but the best, I kind of need to try them just for science, of course. Careful people, they're really juicy. Back off, Donnie, I'm a scientist. Oh, dumplings. Your middles are so hot and juicy. Your skins are so thin and stretchy, like little purses of delight. Mm. Are you, are you better than pizza? Dada, Donnie, Dada. I pull up my emergency pizza slice and I take a bite. Then another dumpling, then more pizza, then another dumpling. Dumplings are good, but Pizza is still the best. It is scientific fact. So how can so many happy people be so wrong? I'll ask Mr. Gonzalez. He knows everyone and he has tried everything. He'll know what the best food is. Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Gonzalez, I shout. What is it people? I have to know, is pizza the best food in the world? Of course it is. He agrees, I knew it. I knew it all along. Of course, pizza is the best. Pipo, pizza is the best, but it's not the only best. Huh? When it's cold out, the best is matzo ball soup from Levi's. When I want an extra rich treat, it's Vincenzo's chocolate cake. Famous Fred's, famous Frank's are the best when I'm in a rush. Or maybe that's Mrs. Mendoza's empanadas. 
Sometimes I just want hot buttered popcorn and nothing else will do. And of course my mother's spicy green pozzoli soup is always the best. I say thank you and I walk home. Is Mr. Gonzalez right? How can so many things be the best? How can science explain that? Pizza always tastes good. Does that make it the best? Is the best food a family recipe? Is it something that reminds you of home? Is the best food the kind that says, I love you without making a sound? Or is it just something you like to share? I've got to perform an experiment. Time to get baking. Test number 99, pizza party. Pipo, your pizza is the best. Tajine party at my house next week. Best pizza ever. The science is in. According to my new data, pizza really is the best, but I'm pretty sure there are still a lot more bests I can try. Papa asks, what's for dinner tomorrow, Pipo? How about green pozole soup? I hear it's the best. The end. Well, friends, time to draw. Um, every night is pizza night. Obviously, what do we need to draw from this book? But just a plate with a pizza, pe with a blah, blah, blah. Got a little tongue twisted there with a piece of pizza on it. So we don't even need to look at the book because it's gonna be really simple. Get your paper out, get ready to draw. First thing we're gonna draw is a plate, okay? Most plates are circles, sometimes they're squares. You just choose whatever uh, shape you want. I'm gonna go with the classic circle, okay? So, doesn't even need to be perfect. Just kinda make a circle, nice big one, so we can get a big piece of pizza on it, okay? There's my plate, and I'm gonna draw a piece of pizza. First, I'm gonna draw the crust, okay? So I'm gonna come up here, make a line, and come to the end of that, and just kind of draw a little bit of a squiggly line, not too crazy. And then a line coming back down, and we're gonna connect these two, but again, don't use a straight line, use a squiggly line, because this is crust, and it's not a perfect line. So maybe we have a little air bubble right there. That's always my favorite part of the pizza. Okay, now we're gonna draw the actual slice of pizza coming down. It's in a triangle, so you just come in here, make one line and then you're gonna bring this one over here but again don't make it a perfect line because sometimes like this cheese gets good and gooey so on this side you can maybe like make it a little gooey like some cheese has kind of gotten melty on it okay now the fun part uh you get to put whatever toppings on there you want so i really like pepperoni so i'm gonna color some pepperoni on here um, I really like mushrooms. Actually, I love mushrooms. So I'm gonna draw some mushrooms, which, hmm, I don't know, kind of look like that, I guess. <laughs> um, if you like peppers, you can draw peppers. If you like anchovies, which are tiny little fish, you can draw that. If you like pineapple, uh, you and I can't really be friends, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually love making friends with people who like different pizza toppings because then I get to try them. So draw your pineapple, draw your mushrooms. Uh, maybe you like spicy peppers on it. We'll put a couple like little spicy pepper flakes and then you can color this in. Uh, maybe you, you know, need a jar of garlic dipping sauce on the side, whatever you want on your pizza, okay? And then we're gonna draw, every night is pizza night. Right up here at the top, we've got plenty of room, so let's do it, okay? Every, gosh, I wish every night was pizza night in my house. I love pizza. Every night, an I-G-H-T is pizza night, N-I-G-H-T again. Every night is pizza night. Good job, everybody. Okay, did you guys like that book? 
I loved it. I love reading about different kinds of food. Some of the food that she mentioned in here I've had and some of it's new. So I might be looking up some recipes to try later on. Um, mm, just made me want dumplings and tagine and all sorts of good stuff. Okay, so hope your slice of pizza drawing looks really cool. I'd love to see it. Throw it up on Facebook or Instagram with the help of your mom or dad um, so I can see your fancy art. And hey, oh, here's something. If you own this book, in the back of the book is a recipe for homemade pizza. How about that? So if you love this book and you buy it, you'll have that as a bonus, okay? All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today for Every Night is Pizza Night. Stay well and keep reading.